What's up, gamers and goomans? It is that time, once again, for the Appalachian Daily Report. I am, of course, the Maple Warlock. Yes, the Maple Warlock. Yep, 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 yep. So, let's take a look at the list for today. We have the Craft Camera Films. You have to complete the camera quest first, and then you can craft the camera films. You need to do it four times, which I don't know if I have enough lead to do right now. We will find out. And you know what? We can even look. You just go to a tinker bench, you check craft under camera. We got some camera film. I've been told you can't do it if you until you make the camera, but I'm sure the option is in here because the pro snap is in here. You need the actual broken camera. I have a broken pro snap. Okay. <laughs> okay. And yeah, crafting camera film, obviously, yeah, you need adhesive crystal plastic and silver. Oh, you don't need lead. Oh, so yeah, we'll just bang that out then to get it done. Ta-da! And yeah, it's cra it's camera film. It's not super difficult to make. Next up, we've got uh, craft some healing items. Any five, there's a list here. I usually use the same five every time. You can get recipes for them from various events. And also the White Spring Bunker, which is over here in the medical wing. There's a vendor that sells all that fun stuff. Wasn't planning on doing a big demonstration for this, but yeah, if we're gonna do it, we're gonna do it right. Put on Chemist, put on Super Duper. And on the chemistry station under the healing things, you know, you just pick any five things. So like blood packs, glowing blood packs. Radex doesn't count, but Radaways do. And some stim packs and some diluted stim packs. Bam, easy peasy lemon squeezy. So next on the list, we've got destroy an Assaultron using a sword. Pretty simple to do. You grab a sword. I like to use the gutter. Any sword will do, however. And then to find Assaultrons, you just have to go to Watoga and a whole bunch of them wander around the outside of Watoga. So, you know, they're not, they're not super difficult to find. They're pretty well everywhere. And just go beat one down with a sword. Bob's your uncle. On to the next one, which is level up well. And it's Responder Gear and Fashnack Mask. And I'm wearing Responder Gear because Pastor's Investments count as Responder Gear. And I'm wearing a Fastnack Mask, which is my big dorky owl head. So I'll probably bump into a whole bunch of other people wearing a similar outfit because it seems to happen. Or they're wearing the wrong outfit and don't understand why it's not working. Because people are people are people. Uh, next event, what do we got? Kill Creatures in Nuclear Winter. Any nine will do. Uh, may take a few matches because sometimes the more of the rounds go on, the denser the creature population kind of gets, so they get easier. But pro tip, use a melee weapon to do it because shooting a gun will give off away your position because that's kind of what they're there for is to one, get items off of them, but two, to force people to make noise so they can't, they can't be super you got it's hard to be stealthy you know what i mean uh and take a camera photo of a legendary enemy inside of vault 94 i have not seen any legendary enemies inside of vault 94 yet but i've also not spent a lot of time in vault 94 hoping to try to do a little bit more in there but you know it's not super it's it's not as easy as uh one would think it, it, it's kind of a tough she's a little 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 tough hoeing in there anyway weeklies are the weeklies you know we're gonna Picking away at them slowly but surely. Let's check the atomic shop. So, uh, if uh, memory serves, we got like 11 days on the Raider bundle because I already got it, so I don't know. Well, uh, it must be quite a bit of time on the Hot Rodder too because it's still in here. And we got 23 hours on the metal frame, another day on the square rug, and possibly two days on the Corvega paint, three days on the globe lamp, and four days on the medical scrubs, the scrapbook, and the chrome paint for the minigun. The chain license plate is still free for a few more days. We got the Vault Boy Power Armor helmets are on sale for four more days. The Wonderland paints are in here, but they're not on sale. The warning signs are in here, but not on sale anymore. Today's the Sheep Squatch plushie, because oh, ain't he cute? Oh, oh, that little Sheep Squatch plushie. He's so adorable. Yeah, we're, we're gonna get a Sheep Squatch plushie. Why not? Tomorrow will probably be the vending machine paint set. So that's cool. We'll see how much that is marked down to. And uh, there's nothing in the invasion from the stirs, and there's nothing in the free states, so that is that. Sort of decided a little special treat, might as well come and kill the assault tron with the sword. Uh, another weird little pro tip is if you really wanted to, you don't have to fight the thing the entire time with the sword. You could take some pot shots with a gun first, and then switch to the sword. I just don't have the gutter equipped here, so I couldn't switch to it quickly if I wanted to. We're going to set him right there, though, for now. And then, oh look, there's an Assaultron right up there. Hey, buddy. And derp. A derp. There 
That's good enough. Stop it. Stop it. Boom. Just like that. And yeah, you weaken them up a little bit with uh, something you're actually good with, and then you don't have to try to, you know, let yourself die fighting with a sword. Though this gutter's pr pretty deadly when you power attack with it, so... The single hits aren't so great, but the power attacks are pretty badass. It might just be a thing with the uh, Assaultron blades. Maybe they're just, they have really high power attack damage. Anyway, that's going to be it for today's video. Hope you all have the best of luck with your challenges and have a wonderful day and good luck with 94 and all that. And I will see you next time. Till then, I have been the Maple Warlock as the Maple Warlock. This has been the Appalachian Daily Report and I am just kind of stretching out for no reason now. Be good. Don't cheat. Cheers. A massive thank you to Texas Weeds for supporting the channel. It, it, it makes my black little heart all a flutter. Thank you. Thank you so much, my dude. Keep on keeping on.